If it wasn't for the courageous, even miraculous act of a yellow Labrador oh, retriever here. named Norman, Lisa Nibley might not be alive today. Now well, we have two dogs. In 1993, Annette McDonald of Seaside, Oregon, rescued Norman from an animal shelter when he was just a year old. Abandoned by his original owners, he had already been held two days longer than usual and was scheduled to be put to sleep the very next morning. But Annette sensed there was something special about the dog. I knew I wanted to get Norman right away. You want to go home with me? Huh? Norman started barking at us like he knew he was supposed to go with us. He was just coming unglued. Not long after Annette brought Norman home, she realized that something was terribly wrong with him. He's bumping into things during the daytime now, and he's... Norman was losing his eyesight. The veterinarian diagnosed his problem as retinal atrophy. There was no cure. Permanent problem. It's going to eventually lead to blindness. Within months, Norman lost his sight completely. But Norman took his blindness in stride. Norman was able to adjust his eyesight really well. Norman! Norman, come! Come here! He was still the same happy, enthusiastic dog that everybody loved. Come over here. Over here. The blindness over here. limited Norman's mobility, but on the open beach near the McDonald's home, he could still run free. The nearby Nicanicum River is a tidal estuary. Its outlet to the Pacific is a trickle at low tide, but when the tide comes in, it fills up like a bay. In July of 1996, 15-year-old Lisa Nibley and her younger brother Joe arrived on vacation. They had visited this beach every summer for the past three years. Both were excellent swimmers, and their parents trusted they could handle themselves in the waters. But today, the tide was changing, and as the cold ocean water rushed upstream, Lisa and Joe found themselves pulled into deeper and deeper water. A current started to form, and it um, got deeper. And I remember I got pushed away from my brother, and all of a sudden it dropped off, and the river got deep. And I couldn't touch the bottom. No, I can't touch anymore. Their playful shouts soon turned to screams of terror, cries that no one could possibly hear. It started to pull me under, and I was swimming against the current to get back. And I got really tired, and I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Joe made it to safety on the opposite shore and watched helplessly as a powerful current carried Lisa upstream. Me. I kept going under, and then I'd get back up, and I'd scream. And um, I remember, actually, I did say a prayer to, to God when I was, I said, please don't let this happen to me. Meanwhile, Annette McDonald was bringing Norman down to the beach from her nearby home, but it was very unusual for Annette to be there at that time of day. It was Monday morning and I didn't want to go to work, so my husband Steve told me to stay home and I was just about ready to sit down and read a book and for some reason I looked at Norman and said, oh, let's go for a walk. All of a sudden he cocked his head and started barreling down the beach and I'd never seen him run like that before. The blind dog raced over 150 yards down the beach. Over the roar of the water, he had heard something that no human ear could detect. Guiding on Lisa's voice, Norman fearlessly paddled straight toward the drowning girl. I know some swimming to me. I realize that everything's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm gonna be all right. But when she stopped screaming, Norman lost his bearings. By now, Lisa's strength was gone, and she began to be swept away. I started hyperventilating. I wasn't breathing well, and I got really weak. From the shore, Annette desperately yelled out to her, telling her to call Norman's name. He'll help you. His name's Norman.
Norman didn't stop until he reached the voice. Lisa managed to grab onto him, and he towed her back toward the sound of Annette's voice and safety. When Lisa came out of the water, I just hugged her and wanted her to know that she was safe. And she, she was trying to be so brave, and she just said, you must be my guardian angel. And I said, no, Norman, you're guardian angel. News of his heroics traveled quickly. People magazine put Lisa and Norman on their cover. Oh, that was good. But to those close to him, Norman is much more than just a hero. Miraculously, his blindness did not prevent him from saving a drowning girl. I knew that he was my guardian angel, that someone had sent him to save me. It really was a miracle how it all came together. I think maybe God does that to get your attention and maybe to humble us a little. For Lisa, the experience prompted her to express her feelings in song. cannot see me I feel as if they know me I think I take things more seriously now I don't just let things fly by I just know that my life is important because if it wasn't I wouldn't be here and I owe my life to you